Hey guys, out in St. Helens hunting down Hot Wheels. Let's go have a look, see what B&M's got to offer. Here we are, it's B&M, one of the only stores open in this whole shopping center. Let's head straight over to the Hot Wheels. I've got my fingers crossed that we find something good today, guys. Oh yes, the pegs are full in here, guys. We're gonna go through all these castings and see which ones we need for the collection. And straight away, we find the recolor of the Legends Tour Volvo P1800 Gasser. Great casting. I really do like it in red. I think it really does suit the car. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a stick man holding up a trophy. I think that's to symbolize this car winning the Legends Tour in 2021. Very nice. Pop this gasser down here. Next up, we've got the Nissan Leaf Nismo. Oh, this one looks like a, a spaceship like NASA or something with the black and white. Oh, I do like the red accents on the wheels there. It matches the Nissan decal. It's a brilliant casting, but I do have it in a lot of other colors. So maybe I'll leave it. I don't know yet. Oh, I've not come across this before. It's the limited grip and it says Black Widow exhaust. I like that it's got those red bars on the back there. That's pretty cool. And you can see there's no bonnet on this one. It's like an open engine. Yep, never seen this before. Definitely going to grab it. Is it a good one, guys? What do you think? I am not too good with my knowledge of cases, guys. And I'm going to blame it on the fact that short cards don't tell you what case they're from. And you've just got to know from visually seeing it. Oh, that's from this case. And for a new hunter, for me, it's hard to figure that out. <laughs> so sometimes I don't say which case it is unless I know for sure. Or I search it on my phone as I'm having a little look, you know. Ah, the red tuned Chevy Silverado. Not a fan of this tuned car in particular, but I do think recently the tuned cars are winning me over a little bit. Oh, talking about the Chevy Silverado, here's an untuned version of it. Wow, this one actually looks really, really good. It's from the Hot Wheels Slam set, and you can see why it's in the Slam set. It's riding so low on those wheels. And I've got to say, those wheels do match the car really well with the chrome grille on the front as well. So is this set 2020? Yeah, it's 2023. So this must be a pretty new case because I've never come across one of these before. That's a really good find for me. I think that looks fantastic. Definitely going to add that to the collection. When I get home now, I'm going to be searching up Hot Wheels Slammed and see what's going on. <laughs> oh, now this is absolute fire. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's the quick bite, but in green. I don't know why, but I'm really drawn to this. I think the graphics look fantastic. I do have the original yellow version of this. Maybe I'll take it. Maybe I will. The problem is here that there's so many Hot Wheels. I'm going to try and limit myself to some sort of budget. So I'm not spending like £50 plus today. My partner would kill me. <laughs> Ooh, another absolute fire casting. It's the Mazda 787B. And this is like a Monza style race car from Retro Racers. I love the shape of the car. I love the detail on this. I love the spoiler on the back. The front end looks so good. My one gripe with this car are those wheels. I think those wheels not matching just does not look good. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to have to take this. Definitely going to have to take this. Oh, okay. A mod speeder. It's actually got a really unique shape to this car. 55 on the side. Actually a really good looking car, but not really into my fantasies. So I'll give it a miss for the sake of the budget. <laughs> Oh, a Chrysler Pacifica from Mud Studs. Really good tires on these Mud Studs. Oh, man. No, no way. It's the 94 Toyota Supra, but it's the tuned version. Finally. <laughs> I've seen this all over the place. People looking for one of these things. And like I said before, there are some tuned cars that I really like. And this is definitely one of them. I think they've done a fantastic job. Look at those little tires. Decals are on point. For tuned cars, it's a really good tuned car. Plus, it's a Supra and it's orange. I love the color orange. Okay, so next up, we've got a Madfast. A nice looking drag strip fantasy. Pretty cool. Very nice. 
Oh, guys, I made a big mistake. I actually didn't know it was a treasure hunt at the time. This footage is actually me a day later going back to the store to pick up the treasure hunt. <laughs> Anyway, I thought I'd let you all know how much of an idiot I am. And also that a guy that's been hunting Hot Wheels for eight months now still makes mistakes on whether it's a treasure hunt or not. <laughs> anyway, guys, I picked it up. As you can see in the video here, let's get back to the hunt. Oh, this one looks really good. Look at those gold tires. Is the 87 Dodge D100. I, I really, really like this casting. Bright pink with gold wheels. It's part of the Baja Blazers set. So it's got those big, chunky tread wheels. Mopar on the side, Hot Wheels on the side, Dodge on the side, BF Goodrich on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... This is definitely coming home. Okay, a new drone duty. We've seen that so much. Oh, it's the jackhammer. I got this the other day in Smith's. It reminds me of those really old cartoon cars. You know, um, like from the 1940s, 30s, 50s. I don't know. I'll put up an image on the video when I get back. Nice casting. Already got it. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Oh, the low looks. The casting itself. I've seen it so many times. It's a bit boring, but I really like that color on it. It's like a bone white. Might pop this to one side, actually. <laughs> Ooh, another Mazda 787B. I'll probably have a look at the two cards and see which one. Ah, yeah, the card's a bit damaged at the top right, so I'll, I'll leave this one. Take the other. Is there going to be any supers, guys? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking now. Ooh, a Corvette C7 Z06. That front end is fire. Badges, headlights, stripes, color. The back end isn't bad either. Yeah, we're going to take this. This looks great. Brick and mortar. Ah, okay. The surf and turf, which I've seen before in red, but I've never seen it in this black and pink, purpley sort of colors. Those wheels look really good. We'll pop this to one side as well, guys. Match it go. El Segundo Coupe. Yeah, we've seen all these castings before, guys. This is like... This is like an old case now, isn't it? Yeah, Cockney Cab. Oh, okay. 2016 Cadillac ATS VR. I've never seen this before, guys. Really nice casting. Love that colour, like the deep red. Great alloys, not bad. Looks pretty solid. Except for this big piece of fluff crap on the side. What the hell is that? Must have fallen on the floor and someone's just stuck it back up with that on. <laughs> Oh, another Corvette. A game from the then and now set. The Corvette C6R. We're on fire today, guys. So many good castings. This one looks particularly good. Pop this down here. Oh, the BMW 507. Oh, man, that looks sweet. Little red BMW convertible from Factory Fresh. Definitely want to grab this. The Dodge Viper RT10. I've seen this one before in yellow. It's never really caught my eye. But this purple with the silver looks fire, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll be taking this one. Roadster set is a good set, too. Oh, yeah. It's the Porsche 911 Carrera. What a nice looking casting. Bright orange. 
I'm actually loving collecting Porsches and Lamborghinis this year because they've got those badges at the top left for the 75th and 60th anniversaries. And I think it'd be great to keep hold of those ones, you know, because they're never going to print those on Hot Wheels again, especially not the main line. Oh, the Volkswagen ID Buzz. I actually saw this van being announced in real life on YouTube, like when they were first designing it. I think this looks great. License plate says ID Buzz, and it does have some really clear VW badges on this. You see, the Hot Wheels design team step it up for some of the castings throughout the year. Like this one's really beautiful. And then there's other ones which are completely missing the back and front details. Yeah, this one's great. I'll add this to the collection, definitely. And here's another slammed Chevy Silverado. Track champs. Uh, race team. Frankenstein one. Oh, it's the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, which is like the old school New York taxi done up into a gasser. And I've, I've got the yellow version of this one. But this blue? Oh, man. That looks so good. It is a great casting with that blown out engine. Definitely take this for the colour. Well, we've got a lot of duplicates here. Limited grip again. Oh, I posted about this ages ago. It's the Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0. Those wheels are really unique. Can you think of another casting from 2023 that has the wheels like this? Because off the top of my head, I can't. Great little retro racer. It's got everything that I love from a casting. It looks like a proper old school rally car style race car. The detail on this thing's fantastic. You see those black crosses over the headlights? Those were put on in real life to stop shattered glass from going all over the racetrack. Hot Wheels really took the time with designing this one. And it does show. Yeah, we're definitely taking this. A little bit of Italiano magic. All right, okay, the Koenigsegg Jamira. Great looking exotic sports car. I think I might have seen this one in white before. It is a nice casting. I'll pop it down here because I don't have it. I think I've nearly got all the Hot Wheels exotic set, so it'll be good to have. Okay, another Viper. Ooh, the Copo Camaro, very nice. What is that? <laughs> the Hot Wheels Popper Wheelie. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, man. I love that it's like a Reliant Robin freewheeler <laughs> at the front, but it's got all these amazing decals on it. It really makes me think of the Only Fools and Horses Reliant Robin, you know, the yellow one they had. Right, let's pop a wheelie. <laughs> we'll pop it down here. You know what? I thought that this was the Super Treasure Hunt Cyclone. 
Oh, man. My heart skipped a beat for a second there. Ooh, it's nice. It's really nice. I do like this casting. Black with that burnt red color. Great little graphics on the side there. Overall, fantastic looking gasser. Shame it's not the super, but can't win them all, guys. Oh, man. This is such a good looking car. It's the Vantage GTE, and I do have this already in the Gulf livery, and they've kept the Gulf livery on it, but turned it white. <laughs> My brain is kind of being messed up by this color right now. It's making me think that it is a very pale mint, but it is white. <laughs> It's a great casting, really good car. I'll definitely be taking it because I did open the version I've got at home. Okay, okay. Oh, there's another low Lux in blue. Wheels Rescue. Honda Super Cub, which is actually a cool looking old scooter. Oh, okay. A Hot Wheels Rescue set car. They actually think looks pretty good. It's the 2010 Camaro Super Sport. And it's got Fire Chief livery with golden wheels. Very nice. I'm, I'm digging this style, guys. I think it looks really good. It's probably the first Hot Wheels Rescue car that I've ever thought looked nice. <laughs> we'll be taking that. We're definitely going to have to keep an eye on the budget, guys. I've got too many cars down here ready to go. <laughs> We're only taking the good stuff today, guys. The stuff we need for the collection. Another beautiful Corvette. We can choose from uh, the two of them. Oh, is this new? The Toyota Land Cruiser 80. This has got a nice retro vibe to it. Love those big chunky tires. You need those big chunky tires on four-wheel drive cars, you know? Oh, the front end there. Those lights are just pop, man. Great style. Good color choice. Great wheels. Hard to not like this casting, guys. Definitely going to have to take it. Drone duty. A Fusion Buster, another Corvette Roadster, Match It Go, Bone Shaker, yeah, same old, same guys, same old, same. Oh, here's another Volvo P1800 Gasser, very nice. Oh, yes! I didn't know it came in this color. It's the 73 Honda Civic Custom. I got the green one of these, but yeah, this one looks so nice. There again, it's got that same detail as before. Crosses on the front. Honda written on the license plate. Hot Wheels on the back license plate. It's got a nice big R on the back there for Ryula Circuit. I'm definitely snatching this one. Civic for one, orange for two. Great details for three. Not the best wheels, in my opinion, but overall, 9 out of 10. Ooh, here's another good-looking cast, in it's the 2015 Dodge Challenger. Oh, man! <laughs> it's another 911 Carrera. Man, the dupes are just crazy. Another Corvette. Rescue Camaro. Right, on to the last row. Oh, but this DeLorean's caught my eye. It's from the 80s set. Oh, those white alloys really look good. They pop next to that dark blue. Great looking casting. Love that classic shape. And I love that it's not trying to be Back to the Future. It's literally a DMC DeLorean from the 80s. You can see on the roof where the hinges for the doors would be as it opens upwards and outwards. This is just dripping with 80s style, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's pop this down here. Ooh, the Stingray Convertible, that's a good one. Dune Crusher, very nice. Not seen this one before. Oh, there it is again. Beautiful. Earth Day Carbonator, a bit boring. Oh, the Volkswagen Baja Bug. Great casting. 
and it's got those really cool wheels on it from the mud stud set when i was younger i hated beetles and now that i'm older i look at them and think oh what a classic car <laughs> this one looks particularly good I like the uh, mud splattered on the side there. That looks great. Cool light green color. Let's just pop it down here with the rest of them. Ah, spoiler alert. Very nice. No way. Another Corvette C7. Oh, look at that purple. It's a 1970 Pontiac Firebird in the modified set, which is a beautiful pony car. I do have it in the baby blue sort of color. Oh, I really love that color though matches this car perfectly i'll leave that here animal rescue oh for mustang mark e 1400 the body kit does look really good on this it's got like a wide arch body kit i think this is ford's like lab version of an electric car for drag racing and you know, like testing how fast they can push electric engines and stuff. So that's cool to see that it's made it into Hot Wheels. Another Chevy Gasser. Lovely. And yeah, that's it, guys. That's everything. This was such a fire hunt, guys. We found so many castings that I was missing for the collection. If you enjoyed this hunt, please subscribe. If you want to see more of my content, click this video here. This one's a great hunt. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.